you're trying to protect this banister and you're having troubles, maybe your door jammers are, are too big, like this, this is real thin, it's not going to work with a door jammer, we're going to use some pads and some bands. So, by myself, I'll do it as such. I want to start from the bottom here, this is where I'm at, I'll start protecting it just like that. Make sure I'm not creating a tripping hazard. I'm gonna take my band. I wanna come up with this guy over here. So we got our pad and our band. And we're going to peacefully connect the band without accosting the paint job. Now, put it in on itself just like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm gonna go up a little higher and do it again. So the next one up, put it on a diagonal. That's where you get the most coverage. Get yourself another band. The color doesn't matter so much on this. As long as we're not stretching anything too tight. I'll loop it all around itself to get it snug but not tight. I'll go around, I'll lift up one of the last loops, and just tuck it in on itself. Just so it stays, stays snug. Last pad for this. Just gonna drape it on over. making sure that I get good coverage. And I'll just be able to secure it, just so it doesn't go flying. You get a better idea of what I'm doing. Put it into itself. It's going around. I'm putting it back into itself. It's usually pretty easy. And that's real snug.